sometimes when you get on YouTube, you, all the videos in your box are the same topic. And this morning, uh, a lot of people I subscribe to are talking about the same thing. Um, it seems that, in case you've been in a coma, it seems that uh, Modern Mystic posted a video which, as part of it, had a, a provocative dance from a, a young girl. Um, according to Conference Report, who's done a video on it, she was somewhere between 14 and 18. I didn't see the video, and it doesn't seem to be up anymore, so I don't know how old she was. But I'm going to talk about the response, because generally the response has been from men. And it's been from men doing two things. First of all, talking about the motivation of the young girl who made the video and talking about her motivations as if they know what they are. And secondly, um, talking about their reactions to it. I mean, some people in the comments section of the video are saying, you know, it's a shame that I, you know, it's, I don't, I'm not proud of the fact that it, it was sexually exciting to me. Some people, uh, some men are actually celebrating how sexually exciting it was. Now, as I said, I didn't see it, uh, so I don't know how old she was. Um, but, you know, it's, kind of weird to me that, first of all, nobody wants to talk about why very young girls get attention by sexualizing themselves and whether or not, you know, we should be fostering that in young women, young girls. I mean, not even young women, certainly not young women. Uh, if, if a young woman wants to just be sexual, there is nothing anybody uh, can say about it or should say about it. I mean, she's she's an adult. Um, but the idea that young girls get attention, and they do, by being sexual um, is, I honestly think, perverse. Now, if you say that, a lot of people are going to, to say you are trying to limit... Um, free speech or something. No, I'm not trying to limit free speech. I'm trying to talk about how we got into this. I mean, when I was growing up, I was lucky enough, and I've said this before, to have a childhood. I was lucky enough um, to be interested in things that had nothing to do with how s sexually provocative I could be. And I think a lot of women in my generation grew up that way. Now, girls, very young girls, are given attention uh, too much, in my opinion, because they're, they're willing to ask for that attention by being sexually provocative. Now, um, conference report in his video, made a big point about how she may be asking for that kind of attention, but she shouldn't be given it. Well, I mean, shouldn't we be asking why she's asking for that attention in that way if she is very young? And as I said, I didn't see the video. Maybe this girl was old enough to make her own mind up. But if um, girls as young as 14, as young as 10 or 9, are asking for sexual attention, um, in really provocative ways. I mean, girls want attention. That's what they want. They want to be told that they are worthwhile people. If they are told that because they know how to dance provocatively um, when they're, you know, very, very young, we have problems. They shouldn't be getting that kind of attention. I'm sorry, but what is wrong with just saying, you know, I'm not a radical feminist. Um, I want equal rights for men and women. And I don't, I think sometimes gender inequality is manifest. And one of the ways it is manifest is that men um, look at the girls doing this and they tend to want to tell them uh, or tell us what their motivations are instead of asking themselves 
uh, what kind of society produces these kind of bids for attention? I mean, God, I, I just, this is just not healthy. It's not healthy. And you can scream at me about how I must be a radical feminist if you want to, but it's not healthy for young, young girls, 10 to 14, or even 15, in my opinion, being made into sexual objects and only getting noticed to the extent that they are. I mean, let's give girls and boys back their childhoods. I mean, is that so horribly reactionary to ask for? God.